Hey everyone, it's Sarah of sarahsbites.com and today we're gonna be making some delicious beef pot roast and we're gonna make ours in a Dutch oven pot on the stove instead of in the oven. So to start off, go ahead and prep all of your vegetables. Here I have about three to four red potatoes and I just cut them in quarters. I have one large white onion, you can use sweet onion, really any sort of onion that you like. Just make sure you get a pretty big one. I have two cups of mushrooms quartered, then pretty big chunks of carrots. As you guys can see, I used four large peeled carrots. And then also I have three to four small cloves of garlic minced. Next up, we'll go ahead and prep our meat. Here I used a two and a half pound chuck roast. And what I did was quite generously season it with black pepper and salt. Uh, definitely do not skimp on the salt because you do want that salt to bring out the flavor of the beef as it cooks through. And of course, this is a giant piece of meat, so I promise it's not gonna be too much. You may actually even put more salt in the actual sauce later on. And then go ahead and grab some flour. I don't have measurements for this. It just depends on how big your meat is. Grab flour, make sure you coat all of it and just kind of tap it in there. And that's what it's gonna give that really nice brown sear on it when we put it in the hot pan. Now get your pan or pot ready. Make sure you heat the actual pot up before you put the oil in there because you do want it to be super, super hot so you get that really nice crust on the chuck roast. I added two tablespoons of olive oil. You guys can also use vegetable oil as it does have a higher heat point. Um, I just had olive oil only on hand, so that's what I went with. And if you can see all that smoke coming out from the oil being too hot, that is what you want. That is what will give you that nice, thick, seared crust on that meat. Go ahead and put it in there for a couple of minutes on each side and you guys will see that thick crust form and that's what will give you all the flavor. I promise if you do not do this beforehand and you just put in a piece of raw meat in together with everything else, it will not taste the same. I have tried that before. And searing your chuck roast first or round roast or shoulder roast, whatever type of beef you guys end up using, it really will elevate that dish and you guys will get a ton more flavor out of it, especially out of the sauce. Go ahead and take your meat out and set that to the side and make sure you guys lower your heat down to about medium, low to medium. And we're gonna add in the onions and then also the mushrooms and just start to brown those on each side. Those onions and mushrooms will probably take a good two to three minutes to start to brown and become softer. So just keep stirring them occasionally so they do not stick to the bottom of that pan. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your minced garlic as well. I went ahead and added another dash of salt and pepper into mine because I always end up needing more, but you guys can omit this part and just wait until you can try your sauce while the entire dish is cooking and then add more salt and pepper and adjust accordingly. Next, we're gonna add our half a cup of dry white wine and any red wine will work for the most part as long as it's not sweet. I do not recommend sweet wine in your beef pot roast. Just let it simmer a little bit and get all the brown bits from the bottom, scrape them with your wooden spoon. I don't suggest using a metal one and then go ahead and add all the rest of your ingredients into that dish. You're gonna add in your carrots, the potatoes and two cups of chicken broth. Go ahead and add your meat on top and I ended up using two sprigs of rosemary. I don't recommend any more because rosemary is a very strong flavor. And then you're just gonna cover that pot roast and you're gonna cook it one hour to one pound. So my chuck roast was two and a half pounds and I ended up cooking mine a total of three hours and it was just absolutely falling apart. I hope you all enjoy this recipe as much as I do. If you did, please give me a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more recipe videos. And of course, I'm always open to any recipe ideas in the comments. Please let me know if you have any questions or recommendations and thank you guys so much for watching.